Hi guys, my name is Bella and today I'm going to make carrot vanilla balls. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's begin. Okay guys, so the first things you need is two carrots, peeled, ginger powder, cinnamon powder, and nutmeg powder. Some dates, some raisins, some almonds, and cashews. So the first step you want to do is grab a bowl and if you don't have medjool dates and you just have these dried out um, dates then you can boil the kettle and put these, soak them in hot water for 5 minutes. I use 7 dates. So while you let your dates soak in um, hot water for 5 minutes you can grab your food processor or one cup of cashews in your food processor and go and pour your almonds and I'm just going to use a half a cup of almonds so this is optional but if you want some raisins in you can put raisins but if you don't like raisins you don't have to use these a little handful in it's optional however many you want to put in so it has been five minutes now and your dates will be ready. Make sure you take the seeds out of your dates before you put them in. So once you put your dates in, then you can go ahead and chop up your peeled carrots. So just cut your carrots just in little round circles. Just cut them up so they can actually fit in your food processor because they will be get blended up. Now you just want to put your carrots in. So once all you have your ingredients in here, you can add some flavour. So what I'm going to use is some ginger powder, cinnamon and nutmeg. And also vanilla extract. What I'm going to do is put like a teaspoon of ginger powder. So I like a teaspoon of cinnamon there, about that much because I love the taste of cinnamon. So it's actually up to you how much you want to put in. Do a little bit of nutmeg. After you put your nutmeg, ginger and cinnamon in, the final thing is to put a little bit of vanilla extract. So now you just want to blend it up. mixture has been blended up it should be a bit it's a sticky with little like chunks of everything in it which is correct eh? so the final step is just putting coconut shavings in a bowl and so now you've pulled your coconut in the bowl now you're just going to want to roll your balls I like these better in the fridge, they taste nicer and if you want to leave them for a while and have them for a while you can put them in the freezer and they'll last longer. If you like this video please give us a big thumbs up and tell me how you went with making this recipe. Thanks for watching, bye!